Welcome back to the 2022 Ryan uh, Conference USA College Football kickoff show. We are joined by the FIU Panthers, and it is a fresh start for FIU. After going 1-11 last year, they opened the season September 1st against Bryant. A new head coach, new athletic director. We are going to get into the culture, all the changes going on at FIU. I can't wait. We are joined by new head coach Mike McIntyre, wide receiver Tyrese Chambers, and linebacker Donovan Manuel. Coach, let's start with you. How excited are you to be the head coach here at FIU? Well, I'm honored to be the head coach at FIU, excited about these young men and how they've bought into everything and then, you know, how our university is buying into everything to, to be an excellent football program. When you come in as a head coach, what's the first thing you do to start your own culture? You start developing trust with your players. Um, it's all about a trust. And uh, we've started that and, and start having individual, good individual relationships. Because anything in change has to deal with relationships. It's all people driven. And I've been very, very pleased of how these young men have responded and how faculty and administration and, of course, our AD, Scott Carr, is doing a phenomenal job uh, with our program. I mean, you have a history of turning around programs. You were head coach at Colorado at San Jose State. What do you have planned here at FIU? Well, uh, my biggest plan is August 1st. We start fall, fall practice, uh, so that's where we're headed. But uh, we have a lot of things in store, and, you know, it's kind of like being a politician. You have to kind of wear a bunch of different hats, and that's you can't just be a football coach when you're turning around a program. And um, So I'm excited about what's going on there and where we're headed. All right, so take me through the offense. you got two starters coming back on offense, so a ton of new faces. How do you get to work with those guys? Well, uh, uh, Coach David Yost is an excellent offensive coordinator that we hired. He's, he's uh, tutored a lot of great quarterbacks that are playing in the NFL. So uh, he has a great system that he's put in place, and so we've got to get those guys learning the system, and I feel like they have a good grasp for it. What, what system do you want to run at FIU, and what do you want to see out of your offense? We're going to be an 11 personnel system and put a lot of the uh, uh, play calling on our quarterbacks. We're going to give signals to our quarterbacks, let them be able to change plays, and, and, and then utilize um, our athleticism. We have a lot of good athletes, especially at our skill spots, and I'm excited about what they'll do with the football in their hands. That's interesting because putting trust in the quarterback, that is a big deal. What do you want to see at that position, and how does that put the defense on their heels? Well, we want to try to always be in the right play the best we can, um, and we want to see the quarterback be able to execute the system and, and be able to understand our matchups. We're going to teach them that and be able to uh, take advantage of that when we can. Tyrese Chambers had a breakout season. How excited are you to be his head coach? I am really excited. And, you know, I knew the type of player he was from watching on film, but the type of person he, he is is off the charts. Uh, he's one of our very hardest workers. He's on time. He does everything like you're supposed to, and it's just an, it's a pleasure coaching this young man. All right, defensively, you have Donovan Manuel, who is a transfer. What do you like out of the defensive unit that you have so far with four starters coming back? Well, our, our, our defensive unit, we've got speed and athleticism over there. Uh, we've got to just get them all playing at the, at the same speed and, and understanding the defenses. We can't overcomplicate. It. Uh, we have to make it a little bit camouflage for the opponent, but we have to be able to play as fast as we can. And Donovan's a perfect example of that. He's a great young man. He's a tackling machine. And he's a very physical football player. Nice, nice. All right, let's talk to the guys you got here. Brought you with us, Tyrese Chambers, wide receiver. Man, you did your thing last year. I appreciate it. What, what was the key <laughs> to having that breakout season? Oh uh, man, just uh, just doing everything I'm supposed to do, man, and <clears throat> being in the playbook, um, giving myself the ability to be able to make plays uh, for my team, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it, man. No nothing, nothing I knew, I, uh, nothing surprised me, or nothing like that. I knew that I was going to be able to, you know, be productive and stuff like that once I had the opportunity. So it was just a blessing that I finally got a, a chance to showcase my talent. Now you took a big jump. You went from the FCS in Sacred Heart to the FBS. What was it about FIU that intrigued you, and, and how did you make that jump? Because not everybody can do it. Man, it's just about just work, just working hard, man. St being yourself, working hard. Um, again, like I said, standing in the playbook, uh, making sure you be consistent um, on and off the field. Um, that jump was, it wasn't really, it wasn't really as tough as uh, I expected it to be. Um, I was prepared for it, um, and you know, I had entered the transfer portal um, the first time. I had to sit out a year. Um, because of uh, because of the rule, so but that that time me sitting out, I just been you know focusing on myself, working hard, training, and preparing myself to be able to to, to be able to be here. Um, FIU is a great great school, man. Amazing amazing school, man. I love I love FIU. You know, it's interesting you say that because there's, nowadays with young guys, they have a breakout season. Everyone's kind of looking where to go next. What do you want to do? But you decided to stay with this program with new head coach coming in. What is it you love about FIU? You decided to stay. I love everything about FIU, man, and. Um, I feel like just the people. 
Um, the people at FIU, the fans, a lot. A, we have a lot of support. Um, Coach McIntyre getting this getting this job was a big was a big for 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 the community, for the city of Miami. Um, just the scenery, the environment, the resources, um, everything, man. It's just it's just a great place to be. I, I, I don't see why wouldn't you want to be there. When you have a big year like you had last year, how do you challenge yourself? How do you take it to the next level this year? Um, just basically staying focused, man. Like I said, um, I'm focusing on, on, on team success right now. Um, I feel like once, you know, once we start building th those team success and we start, uh, start winning and uh, we're going to start seeing more production in my game as well because um, ultimately that's what it, it comes down to. What have you seen out of your offense so far in the spring? Uh, consistency. Consistency, man. It was a really big thing. Uh, just staying consistent, staying, staying motivated, staying hungry. Um, you know, we the underdogs right now. We know that. Um, so we just, we just ready to shock the world. Okay. All right. Defense. Let's talk about Donovan Manuel, the transfer from East Tennessee State University. Your guy says you want to shock the world. Why did you decide to transfer here to FIU? From the first conversation I had with Coach Mack, um, I fell in love with what he was trying to build here. And he was super similar to my last head coach, uh, Randy Sanders, and his morals and his uh, beliefs that he has, um, I, I couldn't pass it up. I hear you're already a leader, and that is rare. A as a transfer to step in, be a leader, how did that even happen? Uh, just me with my playing experience, being an older guy, um, I think that's what we needed here to take a, to, to take FIU to the next level. So um, I'm still working on it uh, each and every day because when I first got here, I was worried about trying to prove myself and earn the respect of my teammates. So each and every day I'm trying to be the best leader I can be. It seems like you feel a lot more comfortable with your role. Was there a moment where you felt like, okay, I, I feel like I belong here at FIU and I'm one of the leaders on this team? Did you have that magic moment? Yes, sir. Um, it was really after after uh, spring practice. I had an uh, exit meeting with Coach uh, Mack, and he told me that he needed me to be that leader, um, that he expected me to be, that he brought me here to be. So um, once I had that meeting, this that was my goal this summer to be the uh, to be that better leader for the team. I mean, you guys have an amazing opportunity to turn things around from where you come from last season. What do you have for your goals specifically defensively as a unit? As a unit, um, it's only one way to play this game, and that's fast and physical. So if we can get all 11 hats to the ball each and every play, with playing with grit and passion, um, it's, it's, um, we, if we can control that, um, there, I don't know, I don't know where, um, what the season will turn out for us to be. Coach, you've coached a lot of programs. To see a transfer come in yep. and already be a leader, how rare is that? Well, it's, it's very rare, but I did my homework on him. And uh, everyone up there at East Tennessee State and, you know, Coach Sanders retired up there, his coach, and he was looking for a new way to go. So it wasn't like he was just leaving because he had issues or this or that. Um, and everybody just praised him. And um, after talking to him on the phone and meeting his parents and everything, I was just so impressed with the, the type of young man he is. And um, I, knew he'd be, I knew he could play football and then being able to have him here as, as the leader that I would hope to be able to be. Uh, a new plug in the school system in, in our in our program would be great. Nice. All right, let's take a look at your schedule upcoming season. Uh, coming out of spring ball, what was the takeaway for the team as you head into the season? Well, our, our takeaway was to, to, to keep improving this summer um, and uh, more self-discipline, better conditioning, more power strength, and they've done that. And so we'll start August 1st, and uh, that's what I'm worried about. I'm really not even thinking about any of those games right now, to be honest <laughs> with you. I know we got to start August 1st and really mold our football team and uh, kind of put that jigsaw puzzle together, and then we'll be ready to go um, when we play uh, our first game. Once the season gets going, kind of take me through the schedule and your mindset as you approach each opponent. Well, we have a, 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 our, our first opener is Bryant um, University. They're a really good football team out of the uh, um, Big South Conference, and their, their head coach was from Miami, coach at a high school that's three miles from our campus, and uh, they have about 25 players on their football team from the Miami area, so it's going to be a big game for us. And then we're on the road there against some really good football teams, and we don't play our next home game till October 8th. Um, and then we run uh, the, the gauntlet of our conference, which is a, a very physical conference, and we uh, you know play some really good football teams there. So coming off of 1-11, new head coach, what's the final thing you want people to know about FIU? Well, I, th I think the thing that everybody needs to know about FIU is these young men are um, bleed FIU. They really love it. The, the kids from the uh, Dade-Broward area and all that area, these guys can tell you football is extremely important to them, and it's extremely important in, in the Miami area. 
And so I think that's something they need to know. And then, um, you know, we're also the fourth largest school in America. I don't know if more people know that. Um, so it, it's kind of the engine that runs the, the Dade area with all the graduates we have. So we're excited about building. It's a young program, only 20 years. And we look forward to, to building it to uh, um, be something that everybody's excited about in the um, South Florida area. Mike McIntyre, we appreciate you joining us. Thank Good you. luck in your first season as the head appreciate coach it. at FIU. Tyrese Chambers, Donovan Manuel, have a great season, guys. I Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much.